The Flash has one of the best rogues galleries in comic history. Seriously, it's crazy. A lot of heroes will have maybe one or two memorable villains, but The Flash has so many amazing ones that you could easily make a part two of this list. And that is saying something. Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome to Top 10 Nerd. I am your host, David Raff, and today, if you haven't already guessed it, we are going to be talking about the top 10 scary Flash villains. Now, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to Top 10 Nerd so you never miss one nerdy moment. Now, with all that being said, let's dive in. Number 10, Captain Boomerang. George Digger Harkness is also known as Captain Boomerang. Now, he doesn't possess any superhuman abilities, so why is Captain Boomerang so scary? Because of his exceptional aim and fighting abilities. He is deadly with his boomerangs, able to kill people instantly with one throw, and he knows how to fight. He was also in the 2016 film Suicide Squad, where a lot of fans liked his portrayal but really wished they showed off more of his skills with boomerang. He was also featured in the Flash vs. Zero crossover event, where they really got to show just how deadly he can be, and man, I never thought a boomerang would be scary, but I was wrong. Number 9. Golden Glider Lisa Snart, also known as Golden Glider, is the sister of another very famous Flash villain, Captain Cold, who will, spoiler alert, we will be talking about later on this list. So Lisa's comic abilities are very different than anything that's been portrayed in her live action appearances. In the comics, her powers include astral projection, flight, energy blasts, and she can hypnotize people. She has a pretty good set of abilities. Now, in her live action appearance in the Arrowverse, she had her golden gun which was also very powerful. But the reason for this was to make it more in line with the way the other rogues were portrayed, which really worked in the context of the show. Number eight, Leonard Snart, AKA Captain Cold. So we just talked about his sister, Lisa. Now it's time to talk about her older brother. Captain Cold is one of the most famous Flash villains around. He may not be the most powerful, but he's one of the smartest and most cunning villains in his rogue gallery. He also has his trusty cold gun, which is his most prized weapon. Even without powers, he has always been a thorn in the Flash's side. He is always thinking steps ahead of everyone else, so he, that he is always prepared for any situation that might come his way. Captain Cold is also another one of the Flash villains that has appeared in live action. He was played by Wentworth Miller in the Arrowverse, appearing on multiple shows and eventually becoming a series regular during Legends of Tomorrow. Number seven, Godspeed. Godspeed is one of the newer villains on this list, making his debut only a few years ago. But since then, he has become a fan favorite villain. Godspeed, who was also known as August Hart, was a friend of Barry Allen and worked for the CCPD. He was always a good guy, but things started to change when his brother got murdered. But when the guy who killed his brother got away, August took the law into his own hands and, well, I guess it killed him. He was also struck by lightning, acquiring speed abilities, and became known as the villain Godspeed. One of the scariest things he does is try to steal speed from other speedsters, which usually ends up killing him. Also, even though he is a new villain, he has already appeared in live action. He has shown up during season 5 and season 6 of The Flash, where they gave him a really comic, accurate costume, by the way. Number 6, Savitar. Okay, so Savitar from the comics and Savitar from the TV show are two very different people. They are basically nothing alike. Today I'm going to talk about the one from season 3 of The Flash. In the show, Savitar is someone who causes all sorts of problems for Barry and his team. Not only is he faster, but Barry realizes that Savitar is going to kill Iris. In the future, that is. You see, Barry accidentally stumbles into the future and witnesses this event, causing him to try and figure out a way to change it. Throughout the season, Savitar's identity is shrouded in mystery. No one knows who he is, or why he's doing this. Later on, we find out that Savitar is none other than, well, spoiler alert if you haven't seen season 3 of The Flash, but it is none other than Barry Allen. But not the one we know. Well, kind of. He's Time Remnant. He is a Time Remnant that Barry created to fight Savitar. Number 5. King Shark Like a lot of other characters on this list, King Shark is very different in live action than he is in the comics. For example, in the show, he's a man human named Shay Lambden. He was brought over to Earth-1 by Zoom to kill the Flash. In the comics, however, he was born in Hawaii, and his father was known as the Shark God. He, in both though, he is a constant pain for a lot of heroes, and responsible for a lot of missing people. He actually ended up joining the Suicide Squad when Amanda Waller caught him. That's actually where we will see him next in live action, during James Gunn's new film, The Suicide Squad, which a lot of fans are really excited about. Number 4. Gorilla Grodd Grodd is one of the Flash's most well-known villains. He is a telepathic gorilla who resides in Gorilla City. He is super strong, and along with his telepathic abilities, is insanely smart. 
He has constantly outsmarted the Flash on numerous occasions. He has also appeared on the show, where we have seen him and the Flash fight a few different times in Hackman, and they've even ended up working together. We also got to see a live action version of Gorilla City, which along with Grodd was something that I never thought I would see in live action, let alone on TV. And they did it all so well. Number three, Killer Frost. Now, there have been a few different versions of Killer Frost over the years. The one that I am going to be focusing on today is Caitlin Snow, the one of the newer incarnations. Caitlin worked for Star Labs. She was interested in continuing Dr. Louise Lincoln's work, who happened to be, yeah, you guessed it, the original Killer Frost. Man, that should have been a red flag right there. But things really didn't go away. Her colleagues turned on her because they were actually Hive agents, and then they put her in the STU. The STU stands for Self-Sustaining Thermodynamic Ultraconductor Engine. When she was trying to escape, she was just ripping stuff and she ripped a wire from the coolant system. And that in turn ended up infusing her biological makeup with ice, turning her into Killer Frost. She is one of the most powerful metahumans and one of the most well-known ones thanks to the TV show. Number two, Zoom. Now I know what you're thinking, and now let me stop you right there. I'm not talking about Zoom from the Tim Allen movie. I am talking about Zoom from the Flash comics, also known as Hunter Zolomon. He is a speedster and a constant foe of the Flash. Now, there are a few key differences between Zoom and the comics and Zoom in the TV show. First is his costume. In the comics, his costume is very similar to the Reverse Flash's, while in the TV show he has just this pure black suit and a really scary voice. He's also the main villain for Barry in the show, while in the comics, Zoom is the one of the main antagonists for another Flash, Wally West. I really like Zoom in the comics and the TV show, but I think what they did with him on the TV show worked a little bit better than in the comics. They made him stand out a little bit more for Reverse Flash, and he really became his own villain. Regardless, on both page and screen, Zoom is one of Flash's greatest villains and deserves this spot on the list. Number one, Reverse Flash. Yabarthon. I don't think this will come as a surprise to anyone. The rivalry between the Flash and Reverse Flash is legendary. He is truly Barry's greatest villain, and he will remain that way forever. I mean, not only is his story interesting, I mean, he was a fan of the Flash in the future and ends up trying to become him, but ends up becoming the exact opposite and his greatest enemy. He also ends up killing Barry's mom, which is a massive event in Barry's life that changes him forever and makes him the hero he is today. That was also the reason that Flash One happened, because Barry went back to stop Eobard from killing his mom, which changes the timeline completely. Even in the show, Reverse Flash is still Barry's best villain. There's a reason he keeps coming back, and we know that we haven't seen the last of him because we know that Barry still needs to fight him in the future, and that fight leads to the night when Eobard kills his mom. So, whenever that episode ends up airing, it's gonna be crazy and intense. All right guys, there you have it, the top 10 scary Flash villains. What does your list look like? Let us know down in the comments below, and if you happen to enjoy this video, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to Top 10 Nerds so you never miss one nerdy moment. I'm your host, David Raff, and thank you so much for watching.